In our headlines for this evening, locally, Department of Education commissions new school bus and division named Karen Journal's Bartender of the Year. The details are straight ahead. And welcome to the Nevis Newscast for today, Thursday, January 8th, 2015. I am Bronte Swanston Hendrickson. The procurement of a new bus for the Department of Education is indicative of the NIA's concern for the safe and efficient movement of the island's students to and from school, says Premier of Nevis, the Honorable Vance Amory. Premier Amory, in his capacity as Minister of Education, was part of a brief ceremony held today to commission the new bus. The fact that uh, a number of the school buses which were in use uh, last year showing signs of wear and tear and inefficiency in terms of uh, consumption of fuel and, and, and so on and, and also some concerns about um, safety. We have decided as an administration directly to purchase this bus from the local de dealers, TDC, for use in our education system. This bus is costing over 200,000 EC dollars. This is not um, chick feed. It's a substantial investment, and those who use it must see it as their responsibility to protect this investment. And this bus should last for 10 years, trouble-free, if it is handled properly. The Education Minister also made an appeal to the persons who will use the bus. My very simple request to the people who will use this bus, the drivers, the children who will be transported, and I'm sure there will be uh, people from the community who may wish to request the use of the bus from time to time, is that they treat this vehicle as if it were their own. Take good care of it. Make sure, drivers, make sure when you, you put the vehicle down after the day's work that it is secure. And before you start the vehicle in the morning, make sure there's water in the radiator and that the, the oil levels are acceptable. These are important um, maintenance um, routines which should be pursued. According to Premier Amory, the new bus is one of three which will be procured by the Department of Education. The other two will be contributions from a very um, uh, concerned benefactor um, and they will provide us two new buses as well within this school year for use in, in, in the system. Premier Amory then handed over the keys to the bus to permanent secretary in the Premier's ministry, Wakely Daniel, who in turn handed them over to Principal Education Officer, Palsy Wilkin. The last time any serious or significant investment was made in school buses was done in his first system administration, and it was done by the Premier here himself. And years upon years later, again, he's demonstrating his love for the people of Nevis and for the children of Nevis. He's demonstrating his commitment to our children and to our future. Mr. Premier, we express our heartfelt thanks to you for this bus. And as you indicated, you hoped, you wish, you admonished that the drivers will take care of the bus. But I too would like to add my two cents by indicating that I trust and hope that the children themselves will take care of this bus because it is an investment in you, it is an investment in the education. I do accept on behalf of the Department of Education and to say that we are truly grateful for the new school bus which we have been given here this morning. 
at the Department of Education over the last 18 months in particular, we have been operating under dire strains in terms of the school bus, in terms of the school buses transporting our children to and from school. And not only just getting the students to and from school, but also because of the number of activities that we do organize for our children in different areas of Nevis. I am extremely grateful that from this January, it's going to be a lot easier to realize our goals and our, our objectives in education. And so for that, I say thank you very much to you, Mr. Minister, and also to you, Permanent Secretary, Mr. Daniel. I can assure you that we will do our best. We are going to talk to our drivers and our children in particular in taking care of this valuable resource. The new vehicle is a 2015 model Toyota Costa bus with a 4.2 liter engine, manual transmission and a seating capacity of 32. Meantime, Premier of Nevis, the Honorable Vance Amory, says the Nevis Island Administration will be taking steps to ensure that persons who are put in charge of government vehicles take proper care of them. I discussed yesterday with the Permanent Secretary Ministry, the Premier's Ministry, and with the Cabinet Secretary that we will send to every department a note from the Premier's Ministry in respect of how drivers, users of government vehicles should function. We have to, we've had too many cases of uh, where vehicles have seized up, engines have been damaged because of lack of overheating, lack of water in radiators, lack of oil levels and so on. Those things are elementary. And I want us to begin to value and to treat with respect the equipment of government because when all is said and done, this vehicle is not being paid for by any individual. It is being paid for out of the resources of the people who's, uh, because of the taxes which you pay to government. But it is for the use of the people and I want those who use it to see it as your own asset, your own property and treat it with respect. Premier of Nevis, the Honorable Vance Amory. The Organization of American States, OAS, announces the opening of the application period for the OAS Academic Scholarship Program, which offers students the opportunity to pursue undergraduate or graduate degrees or graduate research leading to a university degree at institutions of higher education throughout the hemisphere. The scholarships, which are open to all citizens and permanent residents of OAS member states, offer up to 30 thousand dollars per year in total benefits that may cover all or part of tuition and mandatory fees, living costs, study materials, airfare and health insurance for up to two academic years. Applicants for this award cycle will be eligible for studies beginning between January 2016 and December 2016. Application deadlines vary by country and are established by a specially designated national liaison agency in each member state. Interested candidates should review the program requirements, eligible fields of study, re regulations and deadlines before submitting an application and should contact their respective national liaison agency to verify any additional requirements established by that office. For more information, prospective students of St. Kitts and Nevis should contact Permanent Secretary Theresa Nisbet at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs at telephone number 465-2521 or email foreignna at caribsurf.com. Stay with us. We'll have more local news after this break. We are the baby students of the Jackson Primary School and you are watching MTV. Welcome back. 
Division bartender Kendi Williams has been named by Caribbean Journal as its Hotel Bartender of the Year for 2014. To celebrate the world of Caribbean travel, in 2014, Caribbean Travel launched its inaugural Caribbean Travel Awards, honoring the best in travel and tourism across the region. Caribbean Journal highlights the fact that you won't find a more creative bartender in the region than Kendi Williams of the Four Seasons Nevis. An award-winning cocktail maker, Williams has the precision of a mixologist with the creativity of a chef with an overriding focus on local ingredients. Williams's spirit is infectious and it always makes its way into her drinks. I'm so happy. It feels very, very good to be named bartender of the year, of not only of the year, but of the Caribbean. I've come a long, long way. Started out as a server, been at the Four Seasons for seven years, and here I am, seven years after. Bartender of the Year of the Caribbean. Caribbean Journal's Bartender of the Year, Division Candy Williams. Meantime, the award for Hotel of the Year for 2014 went to the Four Seasons Resort Nevis. According to the Caribbean Journal, in a region where tourism is the largest economic driver, tourism has a special kind of meaning and that means multiple roles for hotels, offering a great experience to guests and making a difference in their local communities. And the Four Seasons Nevis excels at both. It is a simply wonderful luxury resort in Indeed, as complete as a property as you will find anywhere in the region. As the largest private employer on Tiny Nevis, the hotel understands its value and responsibility. In other words, it is the model Caribbean Hotel and Caribbean Journal's 2014 Caribbean Hotel of the Year. Officers of the St. Kitts and Davis Fire and Rescue Services were yesterday doing their part to make the island's capital more enjoyable. Here is more in this report. Yesterday, Wednesday, the St. Kitts and Nevis Fire and Rescue Officers took to the streets of Charlestown to clean the War Memorial Square and the Dia Walwin Plaza and various places. Acting Corporal in the Charlestown Division, Cosbert Francis, stated the reason for the community cleanup. The idea behind um, doing this project is to let the, um, the general public be aware of um, the fire and rescue and their um, the involvement in community activity. We are celebrating a week of activity and this is part of, the, of our program, is to give back something to the community and we decided that we are going to clean the square and um, do some cleaning down at, at Scotia Bank. The drain at, at, at um, Scotia Bank, we decided that we are going to do some cleaning. In celebration of its 15th anniversary, the St. Kitts and Nevis Fire and Rescue Services is currently hosting a week of activities under the theme Moving Forward Professionally with Vision and Togetherness to Provide a Safer Community. Tomorrow, Friday, the officers will compete in a drill display in the DR Alwyn Plaza at 10 a.m. All are asked to come out and witness this display. The week will conclude with a family fun day on Sunday 11th January at Sun Crab Hall in Newcastle Village. The entire family is encouraged to come on out. I am Fredicia Libra reporting for the Nevis Newscast. Thanks, Fredicia. That's it for tonight's edition of the Nevis Newscast. Thank you for viewing. Good night.